Welcome back. We are here on e looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, March 18, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us here on e where you can follow our trades and also copy our trades. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to do that. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, uh, we have opened in green now, and yesterday we basically, well, by, went back and forward. We did fell all the way down to 3,934, and then rallied. And this is basically due to the announcement of uh, Chairman Powell that they are not going to increase rates, and uh, they are going to continue with their bond purchasing uh, program of $120 billion a month. So that was something that the market really liked. And then you saw this basically spike to the upside. Technical indicators for the S&P 500 are fairly bullish at this point. Some of the indicators are leveling off like the stochastic and the uh, CCI. But generally, we are still very bullish and approaching the top of the bullish band and also approaching 4,000. Pullbacks from here towards the 20 exponential that is most likely going to be bought into as... Um, Yes, they are basically rallying to the upside. We had this dip, and now we're continuing this rally within this channel, and 4,000 will be our target. After that, we may break out towards 4,500. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones continues to rally. Uh, we, it is basically defying all odds at this point. We were outside of the Bollinger Band significantly for a really long time, and then we fell a little bit, and then we continued the rally. We are on the edge of being overbought here, where we're also on the edge of the basically the Bollinger Band, and the technical indicators otherwise are fairly bullish. Pullbacks towards the 20 exponential or around 20 or the 40,500 that is most likely going to bought into at this point. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ fell all the way down towards uh, 12,960 and then it rallied all the way up towards 13,286. We open right now, we're just at the 50 moving average and still, even though we had this major rally yesterday and quite a bullish candlestick, it is not out of the woods yet. We're not trading above the 50 moving average. We're right at the 50 moving average. And uh, even though it's uh, bullish for the market um, that the uh, Fed is not going to um, hike the uh, increase the rates and uh, it's going to continue with its bond purchases program, uh, this needs to trade above the 50 moving average in order to get out of the out of this of this slump that we saw. For the last uh, uh, three to four weeks, technical indicators they are getting better, so they are improving. MACD is heading towards um, zero, is above the signal line. Stochastic is bullish at this point. CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat. But a green candlestick closing above the 50 moving average that will really open the door to 14,000. Otherwise, it could fall back at this current stage. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, we can see that we are still right at the edge of the 61.8. We have not broken that. We rallied up towards that yet again uh, today. And now in the opening here, we can see that we are basically under that, that range. So, uh, yes, it could fall. And uh, last time we fell, which basically was around here, 12,900 and got good uh, around... 12,968 will most likely be um, supportive. Otherwise, a break above the 50 moving average, that will open the door to 14,000. So let's look at the German DAX. So, yes, the German DAX also spiked higher. So we had this rally here, traded sideways, didn't manage to break down, and then we rallied yet again. 14,660 is where we're trading at the moment. We are significantly overbought at this current stage, and we're also getting away of ahead of ourselves here in the bullish band. We're almost getting outside of the bullish band yet again. So at 14,769, that is most likely where we'll see 
some major resistance occurring again. But we are all over, already over 70. We're at 71 here in the in the RSI, so we are significantly overbought. So technical indicators are otherwise flat or bullish at this point. So yes, uh, buy it here. Very uh, risky pullbacks towards the 20 exponential that will most likely be bought into. So let's look at a UK 100. So we found resistant here and then we basically pull back. So we went all the way down to 6,747. 6, so yesterday's video, I basically said that we may see this fall towards the 20 exponential or the, or the middle of the bullish band before continuing higher. We have been trending slowly to the upside after this slum here, but we are getting very close to the top of the bullish band. And uh, usually what happens there is that you be get a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band again. Technical indicators are slow, slowly turning around here. MACD is still uh, bullish. Other indicators are slowly turning around and becoming bearish. So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us here on Eater where you can follow our trades. So good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.